Hello everyone, Azure Yoshi here, and I wanted to do another tutorial for RPG Maker for you guys. So today what I want to show off is a is to do how to do like a simple D&D style check. So you'll see here if I click this event, I've got a door and it's locked. And the idea being I've got a thief in the party and she wants to just try picking the lock. So you could be like, so I was just going to send a text like, do you want to let more and try and pick the lock? So you're given this control variable and I've called it, can the door be lock picked? So this is just a variable. I've given it the name. You'll see it's the sixth variable out of all of them I have set up. And I've got it so it sets the operand to a random number between 1 and 20. This is supposed to simulate rolling like a d20. And it can be any, as a 5% chance to be any of those numbers. So what I have here is a choice between you can either pick the lock or you can hold off. When you pick the lock, if your number roll is greater than a 16, that is given, giving a 20% chance to unlock the door, it'll say, ha, got it. And you'll see here it says like more enrolled to v6. So that's just variable six and just prints out that value conveniently. And you'll see I have it turn the self switch A on. So self switch A is this one. So you see I shake the screen a little bit. I set the movement route of this event. So you'll see, I'll click this image. You'll see it goes here. So it moves left, right, and then up. So that just, that just sort of animates the door opening and plays like the earth sound effect to sort of indicate a shaking, like boom, it's open. And then it sets control self switch B on and self switch B is just sort of showing the door after it's open and you have the actual transfer event. Now, if you fail, if you don't roll above 16, it's basically like Morn says like, oh no, the thief's like, I can't open the door and it shows you what the roll is, but then self switch C is on. So when you have that, you go over here, you see the door still locked and then it says locked. Morn couldn't pick it, so you have to find another way through. So I've set up like some switches that will force the self, self switch A to go on as an alternative if you aren't able to lock pick the door. But that's the general setup for how you could do a D&D style. I'll show off what it looks like. How to do a D&D style check. Let me actually finish my sentence there. Yeah, so you can go up, click the door. I'll just sort of show us off. Locked. Try picking the lock. Try picking the lock. It didn't happen, so can't do it. There we go. So Morin finally rolled something above 16. It's like, ha, got it. And then you see the door shake. Sound effect plays, boom, door opens. And yeah, that's how you could do simple unlocking the door D&D style check. You can do the same thing with treasure chests or whatever you wish. But yeah, hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks everyone.